It's been a privilege to be amongst you all. Islam is our religion, but Australian is our nationality. Thank you all. And I think over the past six days, we've demonstrated what it means to be an Australian. That courage and endurance and mateship and sacrifice have been on display a lot. Whether it's the courage that, that Heber and Matt showed on day two, or whether it's the endurance that we all showed day after day, or whether it's the mateship that we showed, the simple task of lending someone some cutlery, or the doctor bandaging our wounds and our, our blisters day after day, or the, the strong boys in the team, Abdul and the lads from Cronulla, who climbed back up the mountain to take bags off the shoulders of the girls and get us down safely, or these guys behind us who do it every single night. I think that um, the men who fought and died for Australia here would be proud of us today. I hope that they would be, and I hope that they're looking down at us and know that we're honouring them by walking in their footsteps. Everyone who died here died for the future of all Australians, and that's all of us. And the sad truth is that Australians are still dying in uniform. Brett Till, Sergeant Brett Till, lived in our community. He fell in Afghanistan. He was 31 years old. So on behalf of Bree and Jacob, and Talia and all of Sergeant Till's family, we pay him the respect today of laying this wreath here where so many other brave Australian soldiers have fallen. Yeah, I'm a bit speechless, speechless at the moment. Uh, just makes you realise what, what our Australian diggers went through and, and the sacrifices they made for the life that we live today. Um, and just makes you forever grateful. Words just fall short of describing, I guess, the spiritual and the emotional impact of the diggers and what they did for our nation and for us. I don't think there was a dry eye in the place. Um, yeah, it was just, sometimes you forget these things, like what people had to go through to sort of get our country and the things they had to endure. It's a powerful place but it's a serene place. Um, you definitely feel a connection, I guess. This place is a special place and, and the fact that we've made the trek and gone through the, the footsteps of our troops to come to this um, is, is a great feeling. We are one we are many. Six days ago, a group of Australians from quite different backgrounds set out on a walk in the name of mateship along the Kokoda Track. Now, after 125 kilometres of hard slog, they've made it to the finish. A six-day journey that's being called a life-changing event ended early this morning when the group walked down the Owen Stanley Ranges here into the village of Kokoda. Lots of tears as locals came out to welcome them. They'd even prepared a feast for the hikers, which they enjoyed until the early hours of this morning. Tomorrow there will be a reception for these hikers at the Australian High Commission, but tonight it's hot showers and clean sheets in Port Moresby. I have, you are, we are Australia. I'm a teller of stories, I'm a singer of songs. I'm Albert Namadira, I paint the ghostly guns. I'm Clancy on his horse, I'm Ned Kelly on the run. I'm the one who waltzed Matilda. I'd like you to look these headstones in the eye. If you make a commitment to these headstones that when you go home, you're going to be the best you can be at whatever it is you choose to be or do, whatever it is, you're going to do your best. If you make that pledge to these people here, they will know that the sacrifice they made was worth it. But you know, if you go home, 
and you say, oh, it wasn't a bad trip, but, you know, life's a bit hard, and you become a bit of a layabout, or you don't use your potential to the maximum. Maybe they question whether the sacrifice was worth it. So I leave that to you, young leaders, to think of ways that we can work together, achieve harmony. We are one, but we are many. I, I believe it's, it has changed me. Um, I'm going to come away from this with a new perspective on life. It's just a privilege to, to have walked Kokoda. We're all coming into this as individuals, but I hope that we can leave as a team. What Cronulla demonstrated to us, the incidents that Cronulla demonstrated to us, is that there had been a breakdown in dialogue. And maybe this is a step in the dialogue, a step in the fact that, hey listen, you know, people are different, but that doesn't make them un-Australian. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. And I think that really sums up for all of us um, what we actually discovered was within us. We are Australia. No shouldered arms or bayonet fixed, they march on Anzac Day. A measured tramp of steel shod heels, a memory away. Veterans of a jungle war who went to hell and back. Those ragged, bloody heroes of that grim Dakota track. So dig your reversed rifles in the mire of memory The swirling mist of time have healed the scars You climbed that golden stairway to keep our country free Where the jungle hid your nightmare from the stars When sullen days brought no relief from blood and muck and mire and death was ever striding at your back You trod that hallowed path To be baptized in hellfire The ragged bloody heroes of that grim Kokoda track Oh, the devil took the hindmost And the snipers took the fall With no quarter asked or given In that muddy bloody war with black angels there to guide them, salvos by their side. Those ragged, bloody heroes simply marched and fought and died. Astride a broken mountain top, you stood defiantly. As the devil took your comrades one by one He taunted you and beckoned you face eternity You saluted with a burning Thompson gun His hand was on your shoulder like a burning grip of steel But you turned him and you fought off his attack you broke the devil's squadrons and you brought him to your heel The ragged bloody heroes of that grim Kokoda track Oh, the devil took the hindmost and the snipers took the fall With no quarter asked or given in that muddy bloody war While politicians pondered and great generals swelled with pride those ragged bloody heroes simply marched and fought and died With no shouldered arms or bayonet fixed they march on Anzac Day With the memory of white crosses and mounds of fresh turned clay